Hi, my name is Julian Romero, and I'll be presenting domain analysis. The group members are myself, Julian Romero, and Scott Romero. Quick overview of this presentation is we'll do, discover and discuss a little bit about what domain analysis is. After that, we'll discuss the advantages and disadvantages of, of performing domain analysis studies. Then, we'll discuss some recommendations for the use of domain analysis and finally we'll review the data collection and analysis. The definition of domain according to Verard is a collection of current and future software applications that share a set of common characteristics. An example of this can be found in media players such media players like VLC Media Player which is the open source GNU General License Media Player or other players like Window Media Player and iTunes all share a similar uh, requirements uh, for the user. What is domain analysis? To better describe what domain analysis, I decided to use a Venn diagram. So by Haplin, Halpin, Domain analysis refers to the commonality and variability of sets of, and families of applications defined as domains. When we compare Windows Media Player, iTunes, and VLC Media Player, they all have very similar attributes and functionalities, but at the same time, they each individually have unique ones as well. How is domain analysis used? According to Labar, the key to reusable software is captured in domain analysis in that it stresses the reusability of analysis and design, not code. One way is to reuse code from prior practices, prior applications, be able to advance to another technology or adapt a new technology. How is domain analysis data and information obtained? One way is through surveys and question, questionnaires that can be made to the system users or, uh, or customers. Another way is through current application reviews. Um, after at identifying all the application or existing applications and systems, um, one can look at the positive, the required, and the negative parts of any application. And some, and some, and many organizations, there's actual tech, uh, technical literature, documents and pro procedures and processes that can be reviewed that will assist in the domain analysis to identify the current method of operation. And finally, expert advice is used uh, to identify best practices, actual use, and determine the best way to the, that the application is being used or can be used. How is domain analysis performed? First step is understanding the context. The context uh, allows the, uh, the data, data uh, analyst to determine the, the sandbox or the bounds of which the domain uh, will be studied and analyzed. The next step is to uh, perform a domain modeling. Um, we try to understand how the new implementation will help address software issues and concerns. And uh, finally, we create an architecture modeling um, where we create software architecture that will implement a solution to solve a problem. This diagram demonstrates the different participating groups of the domain analysis process. The first are the sources. We could either go with end users and domain experts to question, survey, and analyze their information. We also have domain uh, producers and we can gather information and perform an analysis with them. Also, we have customers. We got requirements, analysis, analysts, end users, and software des designers. 
In a real world application of domain analysis, the same users may be used for the different participating group. The advantages of domain analysis. Some additional domain analysis advantages is faster development. Because as we perform domain analysis, we gain a better communication means between the stakeholders. We are able to make better systems because we start to develop and, and, and uh, ensure the domain knowledge for better effective solutions. Finally, we anticipate uh, any extensions as we build this database of information, we gain more insight into potential future development of, of the domain knowledge. The disadvantages of domain analysis. Disadvantages of domain analysis include complex, te complex techniques, different type of domain focus results in complex techniques require higher degree of expertise and skills many organizations may lack. Domain sources have inherited disadvantages such as textbooks that depict author, uh, author perspective tend to be biased. Standards may not be current with new technology, high cost of existing application analysis of many systems. Domain experts with specific expertise require several studies. Domain analysis Recommendations. There are certain scenarios that apply themselves well to using a domain analysis. Enhancing or replacing an existing system, developing a similar system as to one you already have, or when you want a general overview of domain knowledge and you have other techniques you're going to use alongside. Of course, make sure your budget supports an extensive analysis. You should avoid a domain analysis when you have no existing system to baseline against or when you have limited or no access to domain-related sources, like documentation, applications that you can look through, domain experts, or when you simply don't have the budget for this type of analysis. Now we will present some data regarding a domain analysis. For this study, we'll review and analyze programming environments such as Notepad++, Visual Basic for Applications, an Android software development kit. Some of the common requirements for these applications were keyword and syntax recognition for ap applicable coding language, function testing for troubleshooting sections of the code, function extensions referencing after declarations, event handling and referencing, coding help assistance with libraries, debugging or troubleshooting spy modes, code statements from, uh, that can be marked for execution analysis. Some exclusive requirements for the, these applications were on-demand or live code testing, a code compiler to build executable files, emulator capability, multi-language recognition, and Android development app is actually able to, along with Notepad++, we're able to have a GitHub integration. This concludes the domain analysis presentation.